Okay, it's been a really awesome weekend this weekend, not because of the movies. A lot of stuff is going on in my life with friends and family. I had some friends get married this weekend. I had some personal family stuff going on that was pretty exciting. So I haven't got a chance to see all the new movies that have come out this weekend, except for this one I'm going to talk about right now. Some of the ones that I didn't get a chance to see, I'll try and see throughout the, the next week, and I'll have reviews for those very, very soon. But the movie I saw tonight is called If... I stay and I was kind of excited about seeing this film mainly the fact that I really really love Chloe Grace Moretz I think she is one of the best young actresses working today and I can't think of anything I didn't like her in up to this point uh, I just liked her as you know playing these aggressive characters in Kick-Ass and and Carrie and at the same time, in Carrie, she played kind of a subdued, innocent person. She's really good at being innocent and then at the same time being super confident. And in this new movie, she plays a young girl, of course, who suffers a major tragedy. At the same time as we experience this tragedy, and then we get to see her before and kind of during this tragedy as some sort of weird ghost. Even though she doesn't have the capabilities of a ghost, she's just kind of stuck in this hospital she can't go through walls for some reason, but she can, you know, she's around. She's just around as tragedy is hitting nonstop. Uh, she is born of these two rocker parents who pretty much let her get away with murder. They're really great, they love her, but she loves music as well, but not like the rest of her family. She is into the cello and she loves classical music. And that's one of the first things I actually enjoyed about this movie was that counterbalance between the rock and roll and the classical because I love all kinds of music and it was kind of cool to see that. Um, I love Chloe, of course. Uh, also is in the film, or plays her parents. That girl from The Killing, uh, Michelle Morel Eno, something like that. I like her in The Killing. And then her father is played by the guy that was the Blair Witch Project, Joshua Leonard. And also Stacy Keach is in the movie and there is this new kid that is plays her love interest. I don't know if I've ever seen him in a movie. I don't remember what his name is and so I totally apologize. So yeah, I was really uh, kind of excited to see this movie. Some of my friends had sent some uh, interesting things about it. So I, I kind of was pumped to actually watch this movie today. And I would have to say the movie does look good for the most part. It, it looks really good. It's shot well. The cinematography is great. Uh, the acting is really, really good. But what really brings this movie down for me and brings my rating down is the fact that there is no emotion in this entire film. I was never emotionally connected with any of these characters. It's really sad to say that. I know this is based on a famous book, so I don't know how it compares from the book and the movie, and I'd like to hear from people. Uh, I'm assuming in a book you can give more detail and give more emotion and give uh, more time to, to develop these characters, but I felt like everything was pretty much rushed from the love story to the tragedy moment to everything that happens near the very end. I just felt like it was just... Yeah, I didn't. I just never felt connected to the character. It felt really, really manufactured. That's how I felt. Um, you know, when you go see a love story, especially young love, as an audience member, you want to connect with them and you want almost to feel like, I want to be in love too. I mean, as a single guy, I want to watch a movie about people falling in love and be like, oh, I want to have those same feelings of being in love and being in the moment. But while watching this movie, I couldn't help but thank, thank goodness that I'm kind of single right now. I am single right now. What about the kind of? What did I even mention that? I am single right now, and I actually felt good about being single because I was like, I don't really buy this relationship. Even though Chloe and the guy are really, really nice together, I didn't think they had any chemistry whatsoever, and I never really bought into their love. I never really, really, it never really moved me in any way. And then at the same time, I was really kind of annoyed uh, I really like the classical music in here, and there's some other source material music that's in the film as well. But every time we get to hear this band, that is uh, the boyfriend's band, the one that's fallen in love with Chloe, the, the music was just really standard and very, very weak. And I always wanted it to just be over soon. I, I, and at the same time, as this band is supposedly in the movie is successful, they're going to get a record deal, and I'm like, this, this music is not very good at all. So I didn't buy that aspect as well. Uh, again, I, I, I wanted to be, uh, ultimately I wanted to be emotionally connected to this story because if this was happening in real life, if this tragedy that happens in this film happened in real life, I, even if I didn't know the people, I would probably be very emotional. I would be sad, I'd be almost to tears because what happens in this film is tragic. 
but if you, in a movie, you gotta care about the characters to ultimately care about the tragedy that happens around them. I would have to say the most important character in this film that I actually really connected to was Stacy Keach, who plays her grandpa. There's a really nice scene in the hospital between, between Chloe and Stacy that I felt like was the most genuine and the only genuine part of the entire film. I also want to say that I felt like Chloe did a good job and I bought the fact that she was playing that cello and that she learned her butt off to learn that cello. I believe that whether it's true or not, I bought into that. It looked like she was playing the cello, it looked like she learned that thing, and it looks like she's probably still playing it today. That's how much I feel like Chloe is dedicated to her craft. But the film just falls apart. Uh, it's not, I, don't blame, I don't blame the actors, I blame the screenplay. Uh, of course, I don't know how true it is to the novel. I blame the ultimate screenplay and the vibe of the film. At times, I was wanting to check my watch. Luckily, I didn't have my phone on me. I left it in the car, so I wasn't, wasn't able to check my watch or anything or to even turn on my phone, which is a good thing. You know, you shouldn't turn on your phone while you're watching a movie. Uh, but I had the temptation to do it, and that was kind of sad. I was like, this is getting quite boring and dull, and I had that temptation to want to find out how much longer it was going to be. And I left it to the ending. I'm not going to say what happens at the end, but the way it was going to end, I was like, okay, if it ends this way, I'll give it this rating. And if it ends this other way, I'm going to give it this rating. So since it ended this certain way, that was definitely very predictable. I'm going to give, if I stay, just two stars out of four. That's it. That's all I can do. Not a terrible film. Just could have been so much more profound and important. You know, there's a film that came out earlier this summer about cancer kids. Now that is a true movie love story and you should go see that movie instead of watching this, sadly. If you really need to see this movie, I would say matinee for free or just rent it on Redbox. Alright everyone, I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePod.com and if you enjoyed this movie review, Please click right here, subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life, and I'll see you at my next movie review. Peace be with you, my friends. Bye!